Hello YouTube, so SkateKid67 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your Battlefield 3 tremendously, or if you cannot run it, be able to actually run the game. So for me, I would run the game at around 25 frames per second to 35 frames per second as a high, and now I run the game at 60 frames per second regular, 45 low, and 100 high. Um, I'll include a picture right now if you want of my 90 frames per second that I just got in game a minute ago, but it's kind of average now. So yeah, let's close that. So here we go. First of all, you're going to need to download this BF3 settings editor from, uh, I'll have the link below. Anyways, after you get it, you just do the setup. It's pretty basic. And just open it up. There we go. Just took a bit there. So anyways, after you get in here, um, yours may look a bit different if you want it to look like mine so it's a bit easier to figure out. Then right here for theme, just click dark. So there's the second one that opened. So anyways, right here, just click new profile and name it low settings. And now we're going to want to click this profile and just follow what I do. So under gameplay, just do the exact same settings. Physics quality low all the way. Notation quality none. And yeah, sound. I have headphones, so that's why I have it on that. Um, for graphics, this is the biggie, so just make sure. Um, this makes a huge difference. Make sure that that's a bit low. It may not look the nicest when you're just in your main menu, but you get used to it, and it really doesn't look too bad. So, full screen enabled, 1, 800, 600, 60, not checked, not checked, halfway, not checked, halfway, 70, 86, none, almost all the way, almost all the way. So, custom, everything low, off, off, not enabled, one times, off. And now if we go controls, there's nothing really here that's important, I don't think. Key bindings, nothing. Console. Check off triple buffering. Maximum FPS of 200. Direct uh, X11. Uncheck that. Uncheck that. Um, right here. Yeah, it's not really something to change. If you want your FPS to always be in the top right, then check that. I don't. I just do it sometimes to look. Um, so there... Anyways, after you get all this, you just click the little save settings button, and then you go back to profiles, and I, I don't know, I just keep on, like, clicking save settings, I overwrite it, um, and then I click reload, and if I reload it and it's different, then I just do it all over again. I don't know, it's a bit of a weird program, but it worked. So, now that we have that done, we're going to want to do uh, two more things. So go to where your game is located. So mine's uh, external disk F origin games. You should be in program files x86 origin games. So after you get in there, um, you're not gonna have this file. So right click new, make text document. Call this user dot cfg. I already have it though, so I cannot do that. Um, or actually, you know what? Just name it user. And we'll make it a CFG in a bit. So, anyways, I'm just going to redo this for you guys so you can see. Just copy everything in here. So there. So now just put in everything here. I'll have it down in the description. And now when you click File, go to Save As. And uh, Save Type As All Files. And type it User dot cfg now click save it's just asking me to replace it since i already have one and click if i refresh you can see user dot cfg and i have this stuff in so after we have that if you have a nvidia computer this helps a lot i'm sorry if you guys don't but mm, i don't know team nvidia for the win so after you get in here just go to manage 3D settings. Uh, make sure for global settings, it's not on auto select. It's on high performance NVIDIA processor if you do have that option. 
I'm just gonna leave it uh, like that. So now, right here, go to pro Program Settings and uh, click Battlefield 3. If it's not there, then click Add and Browse and then look for it. Uh, it should be in your Origin Games and then just double click the BF3.exe. So now, um, for this, click on High Performance NVIDIA Processor if you're on a laptop. And the things I changed was triple buffering I put on, thread optimization I put on, oops, um, texture filtering on, uh, or te yeah, I'm not too sure if um, I even put that on. But anyways, texture filtering quality, this is a big one, put it on high performance. It changes it quite a lot. Um, filtering on... And that's about it for that. Let me just make sure that wasn't weird. Yeah, okay, that's how it is. So now that we have all that, we're just going to want to click right there and just do a restart on your computer. And then when we get back, uh, you're going to want to try and boot it up. But now, now that you've restarted your computer, let's just pretend you did, you're going to want to uh, open up your Battlefield 3. So wait for it to open up battle log. And basically, if you have like extremely high ping for all your servers, because I know for some reason with Battlefield, my ping, the lowest that I would get was like 100. And that was on one server. Every other one would be like 300. Like they would all be way up in the 300s, and I couldn't even play on that. So as you can see now, I have like 43 ping and whatnot. So. You're going to want to um, go ahead and download this program. Uh, I forget what it's actually called. I have my cycle bin. Give me a second. No, I don't. Okay, let me go to my downloads. Here. It is called uh, Leetrix Latency Fix. So let's just wait for this download. By the way, you're going to need WinRAR to actually open this. So you open it up, and you'll see a bunch of this stuff. Just double-click the little Leetrix latency fix. Yes. And as you can see, I already have it installed. But you're just going to want to click the little install button right there. It's pretty easy. And then after you do that, just exit it, exit it, and just do another restart on your computer. Uh... And honestly, this game should be running really fast for you. I know for me, like, as I said in the beginning, I was running at 25 frames per second, lowest, 35 highest. And now when I play Battlefield, I can actually enjoy myself. I play at, like, a high of 90, a low of 45, but, like, just I'm always at 60 or so. Except for in really uh, high gunfights. But anyways, if this helped you guys out, then please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you had a problem, then please comment down below. Uh, once again, I'm sorry if you're an AMD user, but uh, I'm not really too sure. There's, I think there's a way to do that with your uh, AMD control panel. And if you don't know how to get there, just type in right there, search AMD. I don't have AMD though. But anyways... I really do hope that this helped you. If it did, please show me some love. Click that like button. Click that subscribe button. I post a lot of tutorials to how to make games run faster, how to fix games. Um, I'm thinking of posting some tutorials on how to get free apps on iPhone and cool tweaks from Cydia. If you don't know what that is, it's like after you jailbreak. But anyways, just please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot that I know that you guys like these kind of videos and you actually care so yep i'll have all the links down below and thank you